Hi, I'm Ashley and welcome to Tip Ticks. In my last video, I went over how to break apart an existing animation into a PowerPoint presentation deck. If you haven't watched that, I'll put the link below. And in part two, I'm gonna go over how to make those looping animations at the end of the slides so that you can make your presentation dynamic and interesting for your audiences. Adding a looping animation to your slide is a great way of keeping your audience engaged with your visuals. So for this bear image, instead of it being static, I have it floating around the slide just a little bit to give it some visual interest. To get this animation, it has two different animations applied. The first one I'm gonna talk about is spin. So using this animation, I can have it turn all the way around 360 degrees clockwise, counterclockwise. But since I want this to be subtle, I've applied it to my element and I can change it to two degrees. Since I want this to be loopable, I will also click on the animation auto reverse. Whatever timing you apply, keep in mind that it's actually going to take twice as long if you have that auto reverse selected. So if you think you might have a very short slide with very short audio that goes with it, it's probably better to keep the degrees less and keep that animation just a bit shorter. To get that animation to loop in the repeat dropdown, I'm going to select until end of slide. This will keep your object animating as long as your slide is up on the screen. This is also why having auto reverse selected is so important because otherwise it'll jump back right to the beginning of your animation instead of smoothly back and forth. The second animation applied works best with stationary elements like this bear who isn't animating in and is just staying right in the middle of the screen. So I go to path animations and select line, which will show a green dot right where the center of the animation is. Now go up to animations again and select scribble and starting at that green dot, draw a really short compact scribble. Since we want the movement to be pretty subtle, we don't want a huge drawing there. Again, I'll click auto reverse and set to repeat to end of slide. There we have a never ending shimmying bear. Now, if we were to have this bear animate in through an entrance effect like fly in or out using an exit effect, that can get a little bit finicky because it wants to start that animation right at that green dot. So here is a really simple alternative. It's not my favorite, but it will work in a pinch. I'll get rid of the spin and the motion path and I will just add the teeter animation. And again, I'll set it to repeat until the end of the slide. You can also mix and match using other emphasis animations to create interesting and different looping looks. So that's it for part two of my explainer style PowerPoint breakdown. Join me for part three, where I will go over how I did the paint on image effect that I've used in this video as well. If you liked watching, please comment, like, subscribe. Your support on YouTube means a lot to me as I'm trying to grow my channel. Until next time, have a good one.